Your son abandoned me at the middle of the road when I knew I did nothing to him. Eh? Then it can't be that mean. Whatever it may be. Eh? Let us wait till he comes back. Please, have a seat. No, no, not at all. I'm not here to sit down. I'm only here to tell you that your son is crazy. What are you doing in my house? What are you doing with the woman that you hate so much? I want to know why you abandoned me on the road. Because you deserve it. What? Did I hear you right? Tony, after all I did for you? Is that all you have to say? What have you done oh for me? Oh my God. Look, everything that I am today, I worked for it. I earned it. Children, why? Hey, 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 don't. Don't even try it. You're the reason why all this are happening. Alero, you dare not talk to my mother like that. And if I do, get out of my house. Is that a threat or an order? Get out! I don't even blame you. Feel the dog. And the dog will want to bite. Get out! No, you don't! Don't let the devil do you. Chief of that. Oh, yeah. Right, let me see. Wow. Some of you can't see the plan. You right. know that. You <laughs> <laughs> know. Where is this one coming from? He's a good boy. He's always welcome here. Please forgive me, sir. Get up. The prodigal son was forgiven in the Bible. So why shouldn't I forgive you? Just hope you're back for good. I am, sir. Good. Intimate him on the recent countdown. Yes, sir. When some boys are posted out to other zones, new ones are brought in to beef up security. Beefing up security is a continuum. As long as I refuse to hold the shorter end of a power stick in this state, I will continue beefing up my security. That's the way we play politics. Boy, a lot has happened ever since you left, you know. Really? I'm telling you. What's been going down? Oh boy, they just brought in some loads and loads of ammo. What? I tell you. We already have a warehouse of ammo. Mm -hmm. You guys want to form an army or what? Man, for the way things are going, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if that is the case. <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, better to have more than enough than yeah, not have yeah, at all. man. Let's go inside now. Yeah. Yeah. How you guys doing?
Where's Bianca? She's upstairs. It's all right, Chief. It's just the police and some robbers having a shootout. Idiots. So they should look for something better to do with their lives. Now, go and get my daughter. Okay, sir. Okay, boys. Go back to your positions. Tonu, I have been uncomfortable these days. Especially with my daughter. I'm going to give you an assignment. I want you to be her security for the moment. Be with her anytime, anywhere. She can get stubborn sometimes. But remember, she'll be strong without you protecting her. I'll take care of her, Chief. Banker, sit down. Now listen, I have made Tony your personal bodyguard. He will be with you anytime, anywhere. Daddy, why? Am I a prisoner? No, you're not a prisoner, but it's for your own good. I guess he'll be there when I go to the toilet or watch me take my bath. He knows how to do his job. But why Tony? I hate him. Hate him, but love your life. That makes it easier for both of you. I am now the one to suffer for your political mischief. Tony, do your job.
Let's not just talk about him, okay? Please just come over. I need to talk to somebody, please. For you to be out there. Too risky? No. It's too risky to remain behind these walls and be tormented by you and my father. I'm sorry. Sorry? Do you know what it means to be sorry? Tony, please. Let me just go out this once. I beg of you. You don't know how I feel inside. I know exactly how you no, feel. No, you don't. I have no life. I'm a prisoner in my own father's house. Tony, tell me. Was your father ever rich? I never knew my father. What about your mother? She's a poor woman. Then, you have no idea how I feel. Bianca, let me take you inside. We can talk inside. Okay? I'm only doing my job. You're being paid to frustrate me? I'm being paid to make sure no harm comes to you. I also do not know, Chief, but I will ask questions and get answers. Good. Kill her on a bad day. You hear me? Kill her. That will break her father's heart. The man's heart will be broken. Now, don't you fail me this time. Chief, whatever it takes to get her down, I will do it. Good. Do it. It is done. It is done. I told you I can't date you anymore and that is that. No, 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 no. Don't even explain to me because I saw everything myself. That my ex boyfriend wants to come back after everything he did. Don't split me. Don't. Split 
by the way, why do you men cheat? I'm talking to you. Why do you men cheat? For different reasons. Examples. A man could cheat because the woman he loves and adores is in love with someone else. A man could cheat for adventure. Some men cheat for no reason at all. And what about when a girl gives her man her whole time, money, her heart, and still catches him with another woman? Depends on who the woman is and what he is doing with her. And what do men do with women? I think you should forget about him. I believe in one man, one woman. Tell him off for me. I'm sorry that's not part of my job. Samson were alive, he would have nothing to do with Delilah. Daddy, stop teasing me. See, look at you, look at you. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. When the lectures are over, I'll take you to places where you can really express yourself. But, Daddy, how are we celebrating my birthday? Your birthday. My girl, you must forgive me. You know, I'm not getting any younger. I forget things these days. Well, whatever you want, say it and you have it. I want to celebrate it at the beach. The beach? No. It's too risky. Any other place could do. I will just organize a small party for you. Okay, but wherever it is, I want my friends to be there. Yes, yes, you can invite your friends. Tony, did you hear that? Daddy said I can invite my friends to my birthday. So now it's double work for you. You must put your boys on the alert over this uh, birthday thing. Thank you, Daddy. So, drop a budget, let me see what it is like. You know your group of friends, I don't know them. Now you have to get into your room and lock up the doors. Do not open unless you hear my voice, okay? Right. Are you leaving? Where are you going? I need to make sure the house is protected. Oh no, I'm scared. Don't worry, you'll be safe in here, alright?
Dad, it's just that I miss mommy so much. When last did you speak with her? I called her last night and she promised to wake me up this morning. But she didn't call. It's really breaking my heart. Well, maybe she's concluding arrangements for her return. And she wants to break the news to you. Really? Daddy, that would be wonderful. She has stayed too long. Yes, because of the elections. Now that elections are over, you can start living your normal life. Go where you want to go, see who you want to see. Mm. Daddy, I hope I'm done with this, your bodyguard of a thing. Well, all dangers are not cleared yet. But like I promised, if you abide by the rules, you will see that all I have been doing is to your own interest. Okay. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy, I'm happy I can now go out, visit my friends and live like every other girl. You don't know how sad I feel being a prisoner. Hmm. You call it prison, but I call it protective custody. <laughs> Daddy, I hope Tony is listening because I don't want him to restrict my movement. Tony, it's been two months after the elections, which was one of the last I think. I think this place will be less hostile to her so she can go out once in a while. For now. Daddy? For now. It's not going to be regular. <sighs> uh, you must make sure she walks on safe grounds. Daddy, I don't like that man following me around. He's death personified. Now well, finish your food. You promised to play me the piano today. I haven't forgotten. I'm waiting. Yes, Daddy. He still follows you around. Hmm. Yes, but I've gotten used to it. You know, any day I wake up and he's not there in 30 minutes, it will seem to me like something is wrong. <laughs> Don't tell me you're developing a soft spot for him. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. For a bodyguard? Don't insult me. I'm not insulting you, but you don't like him. Do you expect me to like him? Please. In the name of God, pass him over, please. What is that? <laughs> I want him. <laughs> if you don't get it. <laughs> well, he's not the kind of man you push around, you know. He knows what he wants. So what does he want, please? Okay, okay. okay. Tony! Tony! Please come.
Tony, come and join us. Please. Drink with us. Please. Oh, I'm sorry I don't drink on duty. Thanks. Uh oh. Yes, sir. You can now go. I told you. You can give him orders to go and sit here and drink with us now. Call this girl, you're fucking up. I swear. Call him to come and sit here. I won't see him. Don't you get it? like anything here? No, I, I did not plan to shop. Come on, pick anything you want, I'll pay. That won't be necessary. Please, don't turn me down. I've not spent money in months. And all these months you've kept me company, I really appreciate it. And I want to show it. I'm being paid to do that. Please, pick something for yourself. Okay. If I see a nice pair of suits that I like, I'll let you know. Thank you. into the hospital. Daddy. Daddy. Do you think he will survive? Yes. I'll feel we'll guilty right. for the rest of my life if he dies. He'll be fine. Just fine. I want him to survive. Daddy, you need to see the way he took those bullets for me. He did his job. Was he paid to die for me? He was paid to protect you. Even with his life? I'll go upstairs and clean up. Sweat. Yeah. Keep an eye on her. Don't let him help you with us. Did my father pay you to die for me too? I'm just doing my job. Just go. I said go and stop following me. Get to you, the more you make me see how much. 
much I need you in my life You are my bodyguard But I want you to be in my heart for the rest of my life oh, hey, hey. Oh, mm So difficult, but I never 